It's basically the same more or less as the Harry Potter rules. Um, it's kind of like rugby rules, so there's no like major contacts rules. There's three bludgers instead of two bludgers. If you get hit by a bludger, you have to go run around your hoops to assimilate the time it would take to fall off your broom and get back on. Um, I mean, you can push, shove, just pretty much everything short of tackling. Oh. Oh. Go for it! It's a mix of sort of like football and rugby because you have the more kind of tackle and carry the ball and run with it and keep it close. So those kind of elements more than I think anything else. The snitch is actually usually a person. We don't have one today, but it's usually a person and they have a tennis ball in the back of their, um, tied into the back of their, their shorts. You have to grab that out and that's how you snatch the snitch. Right now we still kind of switch positions. Some people at this point know like what they like better. Like I personally prefer chasers, so that's what I'm better at, so that's what I usually do. But we all kind of switch around and it's nice to get a flavor of all the different positions. Kind of a horrible year, but I'll do my best. That's okay. Um, but being the chaser is the most fun, I think. Yeah, being a chaser I think is the most intense. Cause you're, most, yeah. you're kind of the core of the team, just running the ball and scoring yeah. points. And the it's most violent. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> Some good body slams. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's still 10 points for goal, and then the snitch is actually only worth 50 points instead of 150. Watch out for Glass. Go, 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 go! Go for it! Nice! When you're running, you don't really think about the broom so much. It just kind of becomes like it's right there, and you don't really notice it. You just focus on getting the ball. It's difficult at first. That's definitely the biggest challenge of playing is learning to use just one hand, and like catch and throw. Um, but it gets easier with time, and like the ball is deflated slightly, so it's easier to grab and catch. And I like started the books when I was 11, and I always waited for them to come out and like went to all the midnight showings and stuff. Um, sometimes we give our team's names when we're scrimmaging each other and we'll be like um, the Felix Felicis or Patronuses or something weird Harry Potter name so. Tie your shoes in real quick. <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't have to. Shoes maybe you would <laughs> <laughs> and you know it's hiding. I don't think about anyone that hasn't read it. I know we have some that aren't as enthusiastic as others and just really enjoy playing. <laughs> Um, we definitely draw some eyebrows, that's for sure. Most of us are very avid fans, um, yeah, and just needed another outlet to find to use our Harry Potter obsessions towards. It is a really fun sport, even if you don't read Harry Potter.